Lockton. Thank you. I am Michelle Malkin. I'm a citizen of Colorado in America. I am a parent. And I want to say this, SB 163 is a data mining Trojan horse that threatens religious liberty, parental autonomy, and our children's health and safety. This is much more than a vaccine issue. It is a civil rights issue, and it is a data privacy issue. The battle over SB 163 is a battle over choice, control, and power. Who has dominion over our children's education, our bodies, and our data? Parents or the state? SB 163 torpedoes the religious and personal belief exemptions for school immunizations in violation of our First Amendment rights, our federal health privacy rights, and our federal educational privacy rights. It will force responsible, informed parents to submit to a re-education course created by the very public health industrial bureaucrats who have been proven wrong again and again and again. Who will design this re-education course? The same experts that told us that masks were useless against COVID-19 and then that the masks were absolutely necessary? The ones that told us that COVID-19 couldn't be transmitted person to person and then it could? The same experts that told us to spray everything with Lysol and then told us that the virus could not be spread easily on surfaces? Is it, is it the same experts that just retracted a Lancet study on the purported dangers of hydroxychloroquine that was used to discredit President Trump? Those so-called experts refuse to grant independent reviewers access to their data. Is it the same so-called experts that presided over the notorious 1976 swine flu vaccine scandal, causing 45 million Americans to be unnecessarily jabbed with a vaccine for a disease that had fizzled out by the time that the shots were ready? Is it the same types of experts that were responsible for recalling 800,000 doses of swine flu vaccine for babies and toddlers after the product's failed safety tests? Res responsible and informed parents ex exercising freedom of conscience and autonomy do not trust these experts on vaccines or data. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I guess my question is for Ms. Um, I wanted to discuss this, but it did bring up um, a thought that I had, especially after hearing uh, Mr. Kennedy's uh, testimony. He talked about uh, specifically pharmaceutical companies uh, who are, uh, I guess, in his estimation, uh, certainly pushing for increased vaccination rates and also being part of the, I think, the data uh, that helps justify uh, their efforts to do that. And I, I think you were touching on that. I wanted to a little bit more from you on you know why why we shouldn't as a community why we shouldn't trust you know the claim that our vaccination rates are low here in Colorado therefore there's a need for this bill to pass so we can increase them and how that uh, interplays with the pharmaceutical companies or the health experts. I absolutely agree with Mr. Kennedy whose organization and who Mr. Kennedy himself have done so much to enlighten the public about the truth of the racket that is um, perpetuated by big pharma lobbyists who bought off so many lawmakers. You do have to follow the money to find the truth. That's always been my investigative mantra. And I think it is very striking, and I think Colorado is blessed that you have people across the political spectrum who understand what's really going on here. It's not just big pharma that has a huge motivation to hijack our students and to undermine family and parental autonomy. It's also all of these Silicon Valley companies and educational tech companies that want to get their claws into this data. What happened to the bulwarks of HIPAA? What happened to the bulwarks of FERPA, which every parent in this room knows about, but so few people in, uh, who actually serve in public office understand that that is, that is a sacrosanct, sacrosanct right that we have to protect our kids' data as well as their bodies. And so, the work that RFK has done, and so many parental advocates here in Colorado and the nation have done, is to challenge the very premise of the bill that it is in the public health and interest to increase vaccination rates at a time when there are more and more studies that are discrediting uh, the vaccine industry. With regard to data mining, what's really dangerous here is, can you answer the question, which third parties will have access to this data? What are you doing to safeguard that? There are lawsuits across the country right now by the Democrat New Mexico Attorney General, for example. Uh, Republican Attorney Generals are now going after this. 
The fact that we have so many millions of public school students who are being held hostage to online learning makes them guinea pigs. They are the product. All these things that we're giving away for free, they're the product, and that's the danger here. It, and the discriminatory issue is what makes it a civil rights issue because you are specifically targeting people who are exercising their freedom of conscience, a First Amendment right to practice their religion to protect their children, as well as those who have philosophical and personal reasons for resisting the vaccine racket. 